Okay, so Katia v5, how to quickly hide planes in this case, but we're gonna see how we can also do that for some elements. Before I get started with this video, I wanna give a shout, shout out to the creator of the case study model. We see over here on GrabCAD, the model was created by Wolfgang. I will also leave the download link in the description if you wanna download it and test it on your own. We see that um, he created this after a photo and he tried to rebuild it. And what is important is that the files were created in Creo. So we're gonna see that the same workflow works both for native Katia files and Katia products, but also for other software that will eventually have the model save as a step, which is a universal file format. So to get started, I will just start the search function. So by default, I saw that many people just select multiple by holding down control and afterwards go show hide so they hide elements like this so that's not the best workflow if you want to work productively and smart so i'm gonna press ctrl f in order to use the search function within katia and we have the option over here if you know that we want to hide planes i can go by default over here select the drop down list press p for plane and we're gonna see that the plane option will appear over here and now i just need to search and select so it will be this button over here and that will automatically select all the planes within this katia product and i can just right click hide show so this is one workflow i will undo that hide show as we saw I also have a custom keys over here so for uh, i set it to be alt plus v it's similar okay so alt v not alt c it's similar to the hotkeys that uh, fusion uses but just make use of uh, alt now another approach would be to again press ctrl f in order to search if you don't know exactly what type of element you want to select keep in mind that you can go for specific maybe you want all the 3d splines or maybe you want all the pads within or all the shafts you can filter those over here or you can go from element and we're going to see that katia will start this acquisition agent and we just need to select a plane and again the same button will select all the planes and i can just press alt plus v in order to hide those so i hope you find this content useful if you want to know how you can set up custom hotkeys just like i have for um, hide over here alt plus v you can check my other videos so we see over here within the playlist i have a special section regarding katia tips and tricks where you're gonna find additional videos regarding this and if you specifically want to know how to create those hotkeys you can check this video so it was posted three days ago okay so i hope you find this kind of content useful remember to stay creative and start modeling that's the most important part if you want to get better at this and what is even more important is to have a consistent workflow and this is why it's important to look for tips and tricks and to define hotkeys in order to increase your overall productivity okay that's all thanks for watching see you in the next video